Hi everyone, it's Steve. Welcome back. So today we're going to do a follow-up video to our very first how-to, which was replacing the switch on your reclining sofa. Now, although that was the solution for me, I've heard from some folks out there that that doesn't always solve the problem. There are two other easy fixes though that we will talk about today, because luckily, there are things that even I can do. Okay, so let's troubleshoot your couch. Now, first of all, if you don't see an illuminated red light here, then that means that there's either something wrong with the switch itself or you're not getting power. Double check that your couch is plugged into the wall and that the wall itself has power. Sometimes there will be a breaker that trips and, or you lose the power for some other reason. So make sure that that switch is working by plugging in a lamp or something else that you know that you can confirm that it's getting power. Once you've done that, if you still don't see the light, then we're gonna look at the switch. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna unplug our couch, make sure there's no power coming in, and then we're gonna remove this switch. It's just two simple screws here, two Phillips screws. So we're gonna undo those quickly. Okay, we've removed our screws, so we need to get access to the switch from, from the back, so we're unzip this little thing if you, if you need to. Some have it, some don't. And if you find the switch, you can grab a hold of it from behind and you can just push it out uh, until you have it. It's plugged in to the power supply, which is here inside. You can just unplug that there. And there is your, your switch. So if this is the culprit, you can just get rid of this and replace it. I've included an Amazon affiliate link to the switch below in the description. Now comes the tricky part. The switch is connected to the power supply via a short cable, which is wired to the back of the switch. You'll need to access those wires, remove them, and then connect them to the new switch. My switch had black electrical tape surrounding the connections. I had to cut that away so I could gain access to that in order to pull the wires away from the old switch. Wires are connected to the back of the switch in six places. You'll need to remove all the wires and then replace the wires onto the new switch in the same locations. So as you might have noticed in the video, I don't remove all six wires. That's because two of the wires, the wires that supply the actual power, were soldered to the switch and difficult to remove without cutting the wires. I didn't want to cut my functioning switch wires just for this video, so I left them. You would have to cut them, strip them down, and then reconnect them to the new switch. Again, as I said, it's a little bit trickier than most things I do, but that is how you would do it. I contacted the Life Easy Supply Company to see if you could buy the switch with the cable already attached. Their email is support at lifeeasysupply.com. In response to my email, they indicated that they do sell the switch with the cable already attached. However, it is not listed on the website. Nevertheless, they said that you can purchase it for $20 by emailing them and they will send it to you just as if you had ordered it off the website. I don't know if this will work, but you can give it a try. Take your new switch, drop the cable in, push that in firmly, grab your uh, wire from the other end and plug that into your power supply. Feed those wires in there. Zip up if necessary. And then we'll replace our screws. Now, if that's not the problem, the other issue could be the, the power supply itself. That's this unit here. Again, very easy to replace. You just unplug it and it's just one piece like this and then you can buy this as a complete replacement on Amazon also. We have that in the description below also as a link. So check your model number on your unit, look for it on Amazon or use my link if it's the same and then just swap that in. I should point out at this point that not all couches have their switches built into the couch like mine does. Some of them just go straight to the wall from the power supply and the power supply isn't embedded inside of the couch. When you go to the Amazon link that I've included, you'll see exactly what I mean. It's the same power supply, they just have a different connecting mechanism. Okay, so replacing it, 
you're going to drop this this back in there. Now remember, your model may differ. Some models, as in the Amazon photo, plug directly into the wall and don't actually insert into the sofa. I'm going to plug our connector back together. Snap that into place. Okay, we're ready to plug back in. We'll start here, plug it on to the back of the couch. Take our power, plug it into our known working plug, and then look for our light. So it was already on, so it should have come on red there. Toggles back and forth. You want that red, that's a good sign. It should be working. So my sofa has two recliners, one on the left and one on the right. That means I have two of everything. I have two arm switches, I have two power switches here at the bottom, one on each side, and of course two power supplies inside of the couch itself. So my advantage here is if you want to troubleshoot this, I can take a working switch from the left and test it on the right. If that makes that right side work, then that's the problem. So you can do that with each one of those three things. Take it out of the left, put it in the right, and as soon as you find the thing that makes that side work, then you are good to go. It may be that you have more than one thing broken. So again, that the same process will work. You'll have to swap out the parts multiple times, but you can do it. So today's video was motivated uh, largely by a very nice lady that I spoke to, I think from Georgia. Uh, her house had been hit by a lightning. And so when she went to replace the arm switch, that didn't solve the problem. It turned out that the lightning strike had sent a power surge to the house and I guess fried all the components to her, her chair. So it was both the arm switch, the rocker switch, and the power supply that all had, had been knocked out. So all three things needed to be replaced before that thing was working again. Uh, in any case, I've included links to the parts that I've talked about today in the description below. If you found this video helpful and you enjoyed it, please, please, please like and subscribe. We really, really need those uh, to keep the channel going. Uh, so until next time, this has been Steve for Things Even I and therefore you can do.